What's going on, people? Sean Pierce Johnson here. Yes, my voice is tired. It's the last day, and I finally, after three days of being downstairs, made it upstairs. So we're in ESP LTD right now, and we're going to walk around and check out all the cool guitars that catch my attention. Uh, some of these things I know absolutely nothing about, but we're going to start off with the one that I missed last NAM show, and that is the Signature Baritone Eclipse of Ben Burnley from Breaking Benjamin. I think my favorite thing has got to be uh, the red Breaking Benjamin logo inlays, because that's just, that's just cool, isn't it? And it's baritone, and it's tuned really low, and it's got the Seymour Duncan pickups in it that I like, so it should sound pretty rad. I wish I could plug it in, but I can't. That kind of sucks. But anyway, I like this one. I'm kind of bummed I missed it last year. It's a lot heavier than I thought, but it's not that heavy. Anyway, okay, another guitar player that I like a lot and another band that I like a lot and influences me a lot is Deftones. And for this year, Steph Carpenter has a new signature Telecaster style seven string that is friggin' green glitter sparkle. Look at that. Can you see that in the light? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. The cool thing with this new version is it does have his new signature Fishman pickups, which that little line in the center is actually glow in the dark. I can't show you that, but you know, just know that if you get one, it'll glow in the dark. And uh, it's really awesome. I've played one of these before with the EMGs. Uh, the guitar plays great, actually, but uh, those EMGs don't sound that great. But I'm sure these Fishmans do. This is another one from Steph Carpenter, another signature, which is really strange because it's six strings. And it's been a long time since Steph has played six strings. Uh, it's been years. He's mostly been seven and eights for a while, but his first ESP signature was a six string. And the reason they're doing it is because he's had a signature model with ESP for 20 freaking years. 20 years. 20 years of Deftones, 20 years of Steph Carpenter doing his thing, playing cool riffs, making cool sounds, and uh, influencing my music. Which, if you don't know, we released a new single, and it's got a seven string on it. And I would almost guarantee that that riff for our new single, Cockeyed Optimist Into the Night, was inspired directly by the album Diamond Eyes. So one of the Dark Horse favorites of mine of the ESP line was the X-Tone series, which is like a really nice small body semi-hollow guitar. And uh, they've got a couple finishes that look pretty new. I've not seen them before. One is Sonic Blue and Seafoam Green, like colors that you wouldn't expect to see on a semi-hollow guitar. Yes, it's a bolt-on neck. Deal with it. It's fine. Bolt-on necks are nothing to be afraid of, people. And especially on a semi-hollow, I'd actually be interested to hear the difference in tone with a bolt-on neck on a semi-hollow than just your traditional, like, set or through neck. It'd be pretty interesting. But I always loved these because they're much lighter in weight. This is really awkward to handle, a microphone and a guitar at the same time. But it's much lighter weight. I'm a single-cut guitar player, so it's a familiar shape to me. And you can actually as long as I don't drop both. You can get all the way up to the top of the fretboard. Which is pretty unique. You can't always do that with a semi-hollow. So one of the cool things that ESP has done over the last couple years is they've kind of taken to some of the newer guitar technology. So they've debuted a bunch of new guitars with Evertune Bridges and Fishman pickups, the Fishman Fluence pickups, which we've taken a look at before. And those sound phenomenal. And for, you know, I guess you couldn't say they're active pickups. They're more powered pickups. I don't know. That at least makes sense to me. But the Evertune Bridge is a thing that like seemed like a, oh my god, this is a great idea. But it never got put into too many guitars. Well, ESP is making the investment to put it into a guitar that you can pick up off the rack. Wow, this guitar is a lot lighter than I thought. And buy it, and it's just already there. You don't have to take it to a guitar repair shop or a luthier to put in the Evertune Bridge. Because unfortunately, the Evertune Bridge does require some extra routing, which is a little bit of a buzzkill, because why would you want to get 
this big honking single cut style guitar with its huge mahogany tone and route out more of that wood that gives these kind of guitars the resonance that you want. But I think the trade-off of being able to lock your guitar into such stable tune that you can hit this thing really, really hard and it's not going to waver in and out of pitch. And if you want, you can set the tension on the higher strings so that you can bend it to certain within a certain range. But it's that tuning stability that, you know what, maybe it's not going to be quite as hefty of a tone, but you're going to stay in consistent tune. And I will be the first to tell you that if you play guitar out of tune, you sound terrible. And I love the fact that they've adopted the Fishman pickups. Not many guitar companies are getting on this technology, but ESP is one of the companies, one of the few companies that I've seen take to these new pickups because they do sound phenomenal. We have another one over here, which I believe has their more classic fluence. Let's see. Eh, it just says fluence. But... Uh, you can get this guitar, which looks pretty pretty darn nice, with the Fishman pickups. Map price is nine sixty nine. So for a thousand dollars, you get like a ridiculously nice looking instrument with the Fluence pickups, which basically allow you to have two sets of pickups in a guitar in one. It's confusing, but it's it's awesome and it sounds great. And I love the fact that ESP has adopted some of this new technology. They've adopted it for eight strings. So you can have an eight string with an Evertune bridge. You can have a seven string with an Evertune bridge. And if you're trying to, if you're trying to get into seven strings, well, you can get this one and it's only 429. 429 for a seven string. 429, so under $500, you can see whether or not you like seven strings. Pretty cool. So some more new models. This new fan fret with Seymour Duncan pickups. Very nice. Fan fret guitars are always, wow, this is light. I think I need one of these in my life. Fan fret guitars I've not had much experience with, but recently I have, and I'm surprised. It's not nearly as much of a learning curve as you might think, and I think it all comes down to the design of it, because some of the fan frets, the fanning is really, really pronounced. Some it's more subtle. So I think it's that middle ground that you have to find between the subtle and the extreme that is really going to make a great fan fret guitar. This one, I just like the look of, with the matte black finish and the flame top. And the fact that there's Seymour Duncan pickups makes me feel a little good on the inside. If you want, you can get it in eight string. So the E2 range, pretty cool, huh? A little bit, it's like a step up from LTD, but just under ESP. Well, I found one that, uh, that I like because look at it. It's like my main it's like my main bag. It's got the brushed chrome pickups. They could probably have transferred that to a couple other areas of hardware, but for the most part, this is like a this is like the long lost cousin of my Les Paul, which is pretty rad. I'd probably swap out the pickups for something else. These are EMGs and I'm sorry EMG. I just don't like I just don't like their pickups. I'm sorry guys. I know some people out there love them, but I just don't like them. Never got along with them. But I'm I I might make a concession for this guitar. This is fantastic. And those are my favorites from the ESP booth. There's tons of other stuff here. So, and you've probably seen all that stuff, but ESP and LTD make so much, it's kind of hard to wrap your head around. So for me, it's like, they always have certain things that I always want to see. And it's usually in the form of like new and exciting boundary pushing ideas the custom shop stuff is pretty spectacular in and of itself, but this is what I like, and I think we start on a high note, and we end it on a high note. So that's ESP, and there you have it. 
ESP Guitars, NAM 2018. You know what you do if you want to see more. You click the subscribe button, and there's more coming. I've been Sean Pierce Johnson. This was ESP LTD, and I wish you all great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.